Since the expiry date of the Kutubu Special Purpose Authority in 2020, no new members were sworn in into the office for almost two years. However, thanks to the leadership of Kutubu Local Level Government President, John Pipikila, who took it on board and worked around the clock to get the members together and sworn them in. With the blessings from the Minister for Provincial and Local Level Government Affairs, Soroe Eoe, by virtues of powers conferred by Section 45.5 of the Local Level Government Administration Act 1997 and the Constitution of Kutubu LLG Special Purpose Authority, appointed by the members. President Kila, when congratulating the new members of the KSPA, urged them to deliver to the people and leave their political differences and work together with Kutubu LLG for the betterment of the people. Yes. Rushing this one. Yes. 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 And me like him, you, me, your people, and Karai. This has to be more than half long housing. School, in general, for the fossil. Now me, good weather, little, 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 walk me, walk stuff. Now me, I'm a master of Nubla, Chairman, come, one of our team blogger, me, but walk one of our, me not like him, good to boom, but disturb him, Nubla, Chairman, come, look. Deputy Secretary of Provincial and Local Level Government Affairs, Larson Thomas, have also urged the new members of the SPA to fully serve the people by doing what is right and avoid corrupt dealings and work together with the Kutubu Local Level Government. So asking people to come on and say, I'm going to go blood in the day. No, give me slow work. But they say, department, we blood look him. System, I'm good blood. But man going to no, man better than system. Yes, yes. The problem is not with the man. <coughs> so the Miller challenging me, the Miller uh, SPH chairman, uh, board members. Then you go inside, you sorry, only Bible now, you sorry, man. So live up to that. You must try to make some of the change.